everybody. Today's story is called Computer Decoder, Dorothy Vaughn, Computer Scientist. It was written by Andy Dean and illustrated by Katie Mazika. And if you heard any of my stories about uh, Katherine Johnson, um, Dorothy Vaughn worked with Katherine Johnson at NASA. Dorothy Vaughn was a computer during the 1940s and 50s. But she wasn't a computer like the computers you might see at school. Dorothy was a human computer. She could do math very quickly and she always figured out the right answer, even if it took a while. Numbers made sense to Dorothy. In school, she studied very hard and went to college. Back then, it was unusual for a woman to go to college. It was even more unusual for an African-American woman to go to college. After college, Dorothy became a math teacher. Numbers still made sense to Dorothy, but she was allowed to teach only African-American children. She didn't earn much money as a teacher. She worried about sending her own children to college. Dorothy looked for a new job that paid more money. One day, she spotted a notice on a bulletin board. The Langley Memorial Aeronautical Laboratory was hiring human computers. Dorothy applied and got the job. This was in 1943, during World War II. Many people worked at Langley. This was where engineers tested new airplanes. They figured out how to make the airplanes better at taking off, flying, and landing. The engineers needed people good at math to help them. These people were the human computers. Most of the human computers were women, and most of the engineers were men. Dorothy loved working as a human computer. She loved working on solutions to problems. When World War II ended, the engineers at Langley went to work figuring out how to send people into space. Dorothy was excited to be a part of the team. At Langley, the numbers made sense, but there was one thing that didn't make sense, segregation. Segregation was when black people and white people were forced to stay apart. At Langley, segregation was the rule. Black people and white people were made to work in different areas. African American women were on one team of computers and white women were on another team. Dorothy didn't let this stop her. She worked hard. She worked smart. She became the first African-American supervisor at Langley. Dorothy spoke up for equal rights for all people, whether they were black or white. That made sense to her. Langley stopped segregating people when the company became NASA in 1958. One day, Dorothy felt a strange vibration in the floorboards at Langley. Earthquake? Giant trucks? No. The shaking was caused by a computer. Not a human computer, an electronic computer. The electronic computer worked much faster than a human. How can I work with this machine? Dorothy asked herself. Dorothy decided to learn something new. This made sense to her. She went to classes and read books about computers and programming. Dorothy became an expert at writing computer code. She helped the other human computers learn computer code too. The work Dorothy did with computers helped send a man into space. Dorothy never stopped learning, even when she was a very old woman. This just made sense to Dorothy. The end. 
And in the back of this book, there is an activity where you can learn to code a bracelet and some other fun stuff. So that's our story for today. It's called Computer Decoder, Dorothy Vaughn, Computer Scientist. And it was written by Andy Dean and illustrated by Katie Mazika. And I'll see you next time with another story.